friends, today is the second update of the Panda of Dinosaurs Project Pand. Uh, so if you are interested in this Project Pand or if you just heard of it for the first time and if you love dinosaurs, yeah, so keep on watching to see how much progress that I made this month. Spoiler, this is the sad update not because I didn't make any good progress it's because the whole situation is a little bit hectic I'll explain it and yeah I hope you enjoy watching this I have five products in my project pan uh, and each product has a name of a dinosaur so the first product is this Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder one and the name for this one is Microraptor, something that has very little product in it, and you can tell it has very little product in it, but I have worn it nine times this month compared to six times of the last month, so in total 15 times already. I use it a lot, but it looks the same. It, I'm, I'm proud that I used this one nine times, but then what's wrong with it? Like, or what's wrong with me? Why? Why I didn't seem to make any change yet in the pain? Or maybe this is the never ending product. It sometimes happens for project pens, if you might know. But I'm gonna continue using it because I'm very positive that I can use it up. Cannot say next month, but definitely I'm gonna use it up. I promised. The next prom that I picked is um, Achaeopteryx. And you know, like, it is known as the very earliest bird. So uh, the description for it is something that started a new trend. And I picked the Stila Liquid Litter Eyeshadow. I like I said like if you watch my previous update I don't like this one I I don't understand the concept or the um, functioning of this one so I only used it three times and it gets more negative here because in total I have used it five times and I set a goal of using it 15 times so it means it's gonna be with me for the next four months with this kind of paste it's quite terrifying because I only have five products and it it takes up a, a place in it product that I don't want to use it's not like it's not pretty I did some pretty good work with it and but it broke it is already broke when I first started this project pen I already knew it but then like one day I just pulled it out and the paddle applicator totally fell off so like it makes the application or the way that I use it even harder you know I'm not gonna roll it out anyway because I want to stick to the goal of using it um, 15 times it's gonna be a pain in the neck, but it's it reminds me to not buy stupid things. It's not like it's bad or anything. It's I don't use it. Peggy Cephalosaurus, definitely one of my favorite dinosaurs. Um, something that makes you want to bang your head against the world, because once again. A stupid purchase this is the makeup forever aqua XL eye pencil is a black coal eyeliner and uh, it is an okay product I don't like it at first but then I forced myself to use it more to know that it's it's okay it's it's better than I thought it was I used this one eight times this month. Wow, that's that's incredible. 
plus four times of the last one, so total twenty. I'm sorry, twelve times. There's only three uses left because this is the type of product that I said fifteen uses gold. So definitely gonna use it more for the next month, and yeah, I'm gonna roll it out. This is an exciting new eight times. I I do appreciate that. So at the end of the day, it's a practical product. Okay, the next dinosaurs, Dilophosaurus, you know, the venomous dinosaurs, if you know. Um, I picked the blush in this little tart palette for this prom because, you know, it's something misunderstood. The shade is abstract. I ended up using it seven times this month. But I think it's a long way to go to the goal that I said, which is hit pen on this blush. So seven times, you know, considering that I didn't wear makeup every single day for the last month because last month is a little New Year holiday in Vietnam. So I went back to my hometown. I've just got back. And uh, yeah, I'm, I think when I am here in Ho Chi Minh City, I wear more makeup because I go out a lot. When I was at home, I was just chilled, didn't plan the makeup look. Also, I I was lazy. Like when you was at home, you just lying down doing nothing. That's the funniest part of staying at home. I come to a conclusion that is blush is a back burning product in my project pen because I did enjoy using it and I I love this blush I love the color wearable but I'm not gonna make any significant progress yet with this one at the point that I hit pen on it, I believe I can get more use of it. But right now, to hit pen on it, it's it's a very like steady, step by step process. And the fifth one, the last one, T Rex, the mighty T Rex, something that's bold. I cannot show you that product because I lost it. It went back to the time that I was at home, and I did a makeup look for the new year day like the first day of the year according to lunar calendar I put it in a purse and then I totally lost it and there's no way for me to find it because I don't know I tried but I have to accept the fact that I lost it and maybe the next time when I come back home it will magically appear uh, so but I have to give myself a little bit of a credit I use that NYX lipstick it's a soft matte lip cream in the shade Madrid nine times before it disappeared so it's yeah, it's a bravo moment. It's an attagir moment nine times. Wearing a lipstick nine times in a month, that's a lot to me. So in total, I used it nine times last month and then the, the previous month, six times, so overall 15 times. Uh, that's just a mini lipstick. My goal is to use it up. I don't think that I used it up before I lost it. So it's a huge disappointment, but we move on. We move on to the next one because I'm going to replace it with another dinosaur. I pick Triceratops, which is a cool family of dinosaurs. It's like one of the most famous, the most prominent. Yeah, there's a lot of skeletons fossils of that family to be discovered all over the world so I think um, I think
think the creator of this project pen really liked this dinosaur because like the the outlook and then she described it as something that plays well with other which is so cute to be honest that i mean it's so cute and i do agree it has a very friendly looking for a dinosaur so i decided to pick this one this is the declares illuminating supple blemish cream i i would consider it a tinted moisturizer that provides a bit of a coverage and also spf in it um i normally use it as a foundation that's what i'm wearing today i think the finish is really nice yeah, it's like, it's a Korean based brand, so, you know, that glossy skin, dewy look, it's very iconic for Korean beauty. I love this one, I really, really enjoy this one. It never interrupts any foundation or concealer, at least what I already own in my collection. I've used it multiple times in conjunction with multiple products and even powder i never seen any weirdness or like something bad that ever happened to me to my skin whenever i use this one so plays well with each other so glad that i have it but i have had it for quite some time now so I'm gonna use it up my goal is to finish it entire tube and then I'm gonna repurchase it because it's that good so yeah that is every single update that I have for you in this month's pan of dinosaur project pan and yeah at the end it's a little bit unfortunate and heartbroken rolling and roll out situation but yeah it's it's fine it's it's no big deal at all um as long as i did try to use that product and i think that is the main idea of a project pen that you have something to shift the focus on something that have been has been neglected in your collection but right now you have a reason to use it and that is because of dinosaurs by the way have you watched the Jurassic World Dominion first trailer I think it was incredible it showcased a lot of cool viewpoints on dinosaurs and how they kind of fit in the niche shade of modern environment rather than the one that they used to dominate and i think the the, the concept is very cool but i hope that it has a story i hope the movie has something to tell rather than just scenes of dinosaur which is i'm not gonna complain about it because that's my everything but it's a movie it's rather be something better it should have a story and dinosaurs plus accurate scientific representations of the dinosaurs which is i think that's something that have been asking for a while and right now we have seen feathers uh we have seen like in the trailer uh, mothering no maternal care like yeah of dinosaurs so i don't know much about it at least in that academic um paleontology world but i i i'm longing to watch the movie in June so I have high hope for it once again I'm cloudy and hopefully we see each other again for the next update of Pan of Dinosaurs goodbye